crispy morsels of chicken covered in a sweet and tangy sauce with just a little bit of spiciness. Oh my goodness, so yummy. What else can I say? Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. This is the number one dish at one of America's most popular Chinese fast food chains. Can you guess which one? If you can, leave me a comment below. The last time we had a layover in Houston, there was orange chicken calling my name and I just had to have it. I have two pounds of chicken thighs here that I'm gonna cut up into one and a half inch pieces. I prefer thighs. If you prefer breast meat, go ahead and use breast meat. We have about eight thighs here, I think. Essentially, you just want your chicken pieces to be equal size so that it will cook evenly. Like this piece here, I mean, it's pretty thin, even though it's more than an inch and a half. I'm just gonna leave that one. I am adding a tablespoon of soy sauce. Okay, that was way more than a tablespoon. Let's say two tablespoons. And we're gonna add an egg straight to the chicken. Okay, I'm gonna stir this up. I'm gonna let it marinate for, I don't know, maybe half an hour or so as I get the rest of my ingredients ready to go. I'm just gonna get my aromatics going so that I'm ready to make my sauce. I have three cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna put through the press. Three cloves of garlic gives you about a tablespoon of garlic. I have a little nub of ginger. I only need a teaspoon, so I'm just gonna grate this. And you can grate it with the skin on, so long as you clean the skin really, really well. That is definitely not a thumb-sized piece of ginger. It is littler than that. See, so that's about a teaspoon of ginger. And for the spiciness, I'm just using crushed red pepper and about a quarter teaspoon. But you can use as little or as much as you'd like, depending on how spicy you want it. Just adding it here because all of this is gonna go in to cook at the same time. Have a quarter cup of vinegar and I'm going to zest half an orange into it. So this orange zest is going to give it an extra pop of flavor that you probably wouldn't get if you didn't add it. Since I zested this orange, I might as well just use the juice. We need a quarter cup of orange juice. And you can use, you know, store-bought orange juice or whatever. Okay, that's a total of a quarter cup. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. And a quarter cup of brown sugar. <laughs> if it wants to get out of the cup. Doesn't want to. Anyways, it's packed brown sugar, obviously. I don't know why it's not coming out. Just dissolve this in the sauce mixture. And then now your sauce is ready to be cooked. But we're gonna go back to the chicken. I don't like to deep fry at home, so we are going to use the air fryer to make the chicken. And so it will be pretty crispy, but it's nothing like deep fried, just so you all know. I am using about a cup of potato starch. You can start with less so you don't waste it. You can always add more if you need it. So when dredging, instead of putting it through the egg and then the potato starch, that's why we added the egg to the chicken so you don't have to do each piece by itself, which is so time consuming. And I'm just gonna put these aside on this plate as well, just to get a few pieces going before I put them in the air fryer. All right, so we're just gonna put this, the pieces of chicken in there in a way that is not too crowded. That will get the best crisp on there and you might have to do multiple batches if you have a small air fryer like I do. I want to get a bigger one, but 
Well, we did get a bigger one, but it doesn't work as well. That's another story, guys. Yeah. All right, so that's probably about half a pound. All right, everyone, I finally picked up one of these Evo oil sprayers, and I don't know, we'll see. See, I just put oil in there. So this is the first time using, oh my goodness, so much better than the mister I've been using. Oh, the misto, yeah. All right. Nice. Yeah, that was really easy. Okay. Thanks for the recos, guys. Yeah. Okay, I've already preheated my air fryer at 400 degrees. And we're gonna cook this at 400 for 10 minutes. Whoops. And we'll give it a check and see how it's going. So while the chicken is cooking, I'm gonna get my sauce started. So on medium heat. Okay, adding a tablespoon of vegetable oil. You know it's hot when your oil is shimmering. I don't know if you can get that on the camera. You see it? We're adding our garlic, ginger, and crushed red pepper. We're gonna cook this for about 30 seconds. And I'm using a silicon spatula here. Don't cook with rubber spatulas, please. They will melt. Oh my goodness, smells so good already. Okay, you don't want your garlic to burn. So 30 seconds will do. And then we're gonna add the sauce that we made. Scraping up the bits at the bottom because the Garlic was a little bit sticky. Okay, we're letting that simmer for two minutes. I'm gonna make my cornstarch slurry. One tablespoon of cornstarch. Adding about a tablespoon of water. And it has to be cold water or room temperature water so that it will dissolve. It will not dissolve in hot water. It'll just be a sticky mess. Believe me, folks, I've done it before. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna add this to the sauce. And stir it in. Oh my goodness, look at that. I'm just gonna heat this through. Obviously thickened. I'm turning it off the heat. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I wish you guys can smell it. You can really smell the orange in it. No, it's, it's, a, it's a really nice aroma. You know it's thick enough when it coats like the back of a wooden spoon, a tablespoon, or even the spatula without like totally dripping off. And after you've taken it off the heat, add a, about a teaspoon of sesame oil. And stir that in. Oh my goodness, it smells, I, I can't even, I want to describe the smell. It's like you can smell the sesame, you can smell the orange zest, you can smell the garlic. That's gonna be so good. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. I did end up keeping it in there for about 12 minutes total. I gave it a stir midway, and this is what we ended up with. Very impressive results. Yep. So I only cooked about a quarter of the chicken. So I'm just gonna, like the sauce that I made is good enough for two pounds of chicken. So I'm just gonna spoon a little bit over this because we're so excited. We just want to show you what this is gonna taste like. And just toss it really well so that you can get all the sauce absorbed by the pieces of chicken. Oh my goodness. Woo. Good stuff. Yeah. Are y'all ready for? Yup. The taste. I'm excited. You know what's not to like about deep fried food? In this case, it's air fried, but still, I'm a sucker for crispy, crispy food. Even though it isn't traditional Chinese food, I love Chinese fast food, westernized Chinese food. 
it's so good. You roll up to the food court kiosk, you order a big plate of, you know, two items plus a rice, and you just go to town with all that sauce. Love it. When Flo was cooking this, and the aroma of all those ingredients of the orange and uh, the spices that were put in there, including garlic, it all came out and it was really reminiscent of like when you pass by that Chinese fast food place in the food court and like, yeah, they're cooking up some orange chicken in the back. Oh yeah, I am so hungry too. So this is gonna be good. Mm. I think I'm really impressed by what the air fryer can do with that starch. The edges just has a little bit of crispiness and that's fantastic. And the chicken is moist. And the flavor of the sauce, wow, dude. It is really good. Like these recipes are not meant to be copycat recipes, but more of an homage to things that we love and remember. But the flavor is really good. Probably like a fraction of the sugar that you get in the uh, those restaurants. Seriously. Good. Mm, yeah. It wouldn't hurt to have a bit more heat in there, but that's just me and that you can rock however much spiciness you want in yours, but this is really good. Thanks, dude. Yep. Right, so like dude said, I used a fraction of the sugar that you would normally find in the fast food restaurants. That sugar is what keeps you coming back for more. But when you make it at home, you know exactly what's going into it. You can cut the sugar by, well, quite a lot, or if it's not sweet enough, you can always add more. I really hope that you guys are enjoying these really simple Chinese remakes. For more recipes just like this, I will see you over there.